Why do you say the sun rising from the west is symbolic when the Quran confirms in three ayats, um, Surah Rad, Surah Fatir, Surah Yasin, that the sun runs its course for a term appointed or for a period determined? So if the Quran says Allah's creation does not change, is this statement not irrelevant to this subject? Well, you have to show me in the Quran where Allah says in the Quran that the sun rises from the west. Why don't you cause it to rise from the east? This is Sulema, this is Ibrahim alayhi salam confronting the king. And Ibrahim alayhi salam says in the Quran, uh, I believe you must be familiar with it. Uh, this is, I mean, plain and clear and direct language. I don't think Ibrahim alayhi salam was making a mistake. He said to the king, the sun rises from the east. Why don't you cause it to rise from the west? Hmm? Meaning, the natural order, the one which Allah has ordained, is the sun rising from the east. And the rival to the natural order is the one that he suggests, come on, let it rise from the west. If the Dajjal wants to be a rival to the truth, then the Dajjal will have to cause the sun to rise from the west. And I say he's already done that. Because a literal explanation or understanding of the sun rising from the west is not possible. It is in conflict with the Quran because Allah says, La tabdila li khalqillah. Allah's creation does not change. What is Allah's creation? But I just said it. I just said it. Allah's creation is one in which the sun rises from the east and it sets in the west. I don't know whether I have to use another language to explain it. That's what the Quran says. The natural order of Allah's creation is that the sun rises from the east and sets in the west. And therefore when Allah says, La tabdila li khalqillah, Allah's creation does not change. The implication is that the sun will continuously rise from the east and set in the west. That's the implication of what is in the Quran. And so if there's a hadith which says that Dajjal will cause the sun to rise from the west, it cannot be understood literally. Those who want to understand it literally, that's your choice. I reject that. You do not have to accept my views. No, you can continue to believe that one day the sun is going to go opposite or the moon, the, the earth is going to revolve opposite direction and that, all that nonsense. If you want to believe in that nonsense, I'm not stopping you. Go ahead and believe. NASA will continue giving you evidence to support the view that the earth is going to re revolve in a different direction and then the sun is going, yes. If you want to stuff, accept that stuff, go ahead, accept it. But why should I have to accept it? No, I have said that a literal explanation is impossible because it will be in conflict with the Quran. And therefore it is a symbolic or metaphorical explanation. And therefore they will, want, they will come upon the world a false sunrise. And that false sunrise will come from the West. And that is modern Western civilization. Okay? Then, of course, they'll come after me. Oh, but when the sun rising from the west, no more toba after that. Okay? Well, then, perhaps you might want to continue, go back, leave me alone and go back with your nonsense, and I don't have to convince you that the sun is going to rise, <laughs> that, the, that there's going to be a western sunrise. If you want to believe in that, go ahead and leave it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone with your nonsense. Go ahead. I don't need you. I don't need you. And I have no problems at all in your accepting the nonsense that one day the revolution, rotation of the earth is going to change and the sun is going to literally rise from the west. 
I have no problem with that nonsense. If you want to accept that nonsense, why don't you please accept it and leave me alone? I have more important things to do than pay attention to nonsense.